Looking for ways to shake up your RV travel? Are you worried RV life will become dull and boring? Have we got the perfect deal for you. So gather your friends and get ready. We're about to show you how to shake it up. This video is all about RVing with a purpose, expanding your RV community, and really just doing a little something that makes you feel really good. So let's jump right in. Day one, Pikachu Peak State Park volunteer with a year to volunteer. We're headed to the morning meeting where we'll get our assignments and then we have to put our butts to work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are going to continue with the painting at the quail group area. We don't need as many people there because there's only two that still need to have the finished painting done. Two teams can be over at Jackrabbit. Jack we'll have a prep team, which basically is sanding, wire brushing, wiping them down. Another team can tarp, water, um, and prime. And then another team can come behind and paint. The main goal of the project here at this state park is to sand, prime, and paint all 32 of their pavilions. And then once that's done, of course, they have a long list of other items they would like us to hit if we have time. This is our fourth project with them, but of course, they've done way more than that. So <laughs> They've done four. We've done 19. <laughs> okay. And what is your total man hours to date? Our total man hours to date is 22,255. And do you have a dollar? compensation for that or no? So I, the last time I did the math was like four or five projects ago and it was over $2 million that we have saved for parks Dang. and other places. Yeah. That is fantastic. <laughs> so one of the things they say is to travel with a purpose. So yes. if you're looking for a purpose and you want to volunteer, I'll have links below. Yeah. So they started yesterday on the project. We actually pulled in yesterday. So today is our first day getting our hands dirty. Every time we've been here, we've really enjoyed it and had a good time, even though we worked hard and got dirty. So when you come to a year to volunteer project, it's not all work and no play. Exactly. And you will get fed well, especially if this guy comes along. So if you want to join us, you might get lucky. And if I'm at it, you might get some of that. Oh my gosh. So this is Chef Juan. If you don't, if you don't know him, pop over to, um, Cuban Hunger, I want to say Cuban travel, the Hungry Cuban Adventures. Adventures. Now he was in a past life, actually a chef and mm -hmm. had his own catering Cater or restaurant yeah. catering. Cater so the guy knows what he's doing. So um, I'm going to not only eat my portion, but I'm eating Phil's portion too. Because Phil won't eat shrimp. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Brownies, anyone? Not only did Juan feed me for dinner today, but he's going to be feeding me tomorrow too. So Phil's on his own. Yeah, I got to go scrounge up some extra leftover brisket from somewhere. You know anybody that's got any? No, I don't. Yeah. So Al and I are SOL. I think so after days and days of painting, they feel they we are switching gears. So now we are going to tear down a bridge that apparently has been washed away and, and looks pretty crappy. I'm ready to go. Today we are tackling one of the major residences. So we are going to sand and repaint this deck for her. So hopefully it'll give it new life and it'll last a while. Well, there's a few spots on here. I'm trying to get them. Looks like we're all done and now we go have lunch. So we'll pop back in, give it a double check, make sure we didn't miss any spots, make sure there's no touch-ups that be needed, that be needed, that will be needed after lunch. Um, and then we can check this one off the list. Every time we do a project with a year to volunteer, we get a ton of questions about volunteering and camp hosting. Phil and Char have done quite a few volunteer projects and they've learned a lot along the way. And they've realized there is a big need for people looking for these kind of projects as well as camp host positions. So they put their heads together and they came up with something new called camper gigs. If you've been looking for volunteer opportunities while in your RV or camp host positions, then head over to CamperGigs.com because they are getting ready to put all of this together for you to make it easy to find the opportunities that you're looking for. I, I hope you know what difference you've made. We all felt like, you know, what, what hit us? <laughs> like, there's all these elves everywhere, you know, <laughs> everywhere you go, there's some little group doing something, you know, and then... I, I drove through the park and it's it, it, it was
is like a freakish experience at times because <laughs> have you ever felt like you're in your own like time lapse movie? Yeah. <laughs> you know, like you drive by and whoop. We painted 36 canopies. We painted the main gate, repaired stucco, painted a ranger's deck. We demoed the bridge, painted three water towers, lots of landscaping. We painted 87 pedestals and 242 posts. <laughs> We're getting ready to leave. Yeah, it's been a fun two weeks and we accomplished a lot on this project. And this isn't our first project with no. a year to volunteer. This is our fourth. In case you guys haven't seen our previous videos, our first time with them was actually their very first project. And that was at Florida Caverns and they were, their campground was completely wiped out by Hurricane Michael. So we went in and actually rebuilt the campground. Our second project was in Rockport where we went and helped destroy a, uh, well it was already destroyed, we helped tear it down I should say, a youth center at a church in Rockport, Texas. And let me tell you, there's nothing like demo where you don't have to save anything. It was a ton of fun. Yeah, that was fun. And that, that church had been affected by a hurricane, right. uh, Michael. Right. No, Harvey. Harvey. Oh yeah, Harvey. 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 Yep. And then our third project was at Stephen C. Foster State Park um, on the Okefenokee Swamp. Say that three times I fast. I know. And we did some major repairs for this state park that they said they probably never would have been able to do because they lacked the people and the resources. Yeah, so we came in there like a wrecking ball <laughs> or a hurricane, you know, whichever you one. Say. So every project is different. If you're interested in volunteering with the Year to Volunteer, not only will I put the link to a Year to Volunteer down below, I will also put links to all of our past videos so you can kind of get an idea of what we were doing. Yeah, and you don't have to, if they have a two-week project and you only can spare a week, they'll take you. If it's two days, they'll take you, trust me. Um, and you'll be, you'll be thankful that you were able to join them and, and contribute some in some way yeah so you definitely will get more out of it than than what you put into it it always feel good feels good when you give of yourself yeah, absolutely all right so we are headed out of here and we are going well we know the general direction we're going i don't know exactly <laughs> where we're staying tonight yet i don't have reservations but we'll work that out on the road but i can tell you i am headed to our phil is headed to another school yeah, more learning. I thought I was done with learning. <laughs> Heck no, we are lifelong learners. So <laughs> if you want to know what school Phil's going to next, you're just going to have to keep watching and wait for a next video. Yeah, let's hope Phil passes. Bad we'll see you in a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. Right, well, this we'll, isn't we'll going to be a bad action. We'll, see, we'll we're going to. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we screwed up the handshake. Yes, Dude, yeah, we did. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh.